It was extremely violent. And federal officials in El Paso have handed over custody of an alleged Trenderagua gang member they say is linked to a violent jewelry store robbery in, De in Denver back in June. As we reported, the brutal robbery was all caught on video showing several young men entering the jewelry store, pulling out guns, pushing open the office door and breaking in. This is before, before you were a citizen. Hmm? This is undocumented. Hmm? This is for the undocumented. Well, what I would like to do is move them to document it. They got that we can move them to document it. Sure, now. This is before, before you were a citizen. Hmm? This is undocumented. Hmm? This is for the undocumented. Well, what I would like to do is move them to document it. They got that we can move them to document it. And one of the best things that we can do for our economy is to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Hello, everyone. Well, first of all, Nancy Pelosi is a disgrace to this country. So let's just start there. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. Now, as far as Colorado's governor goes, he wants to sing to me in Spanish? How about I sing to him in English? We're gonna vote your a out. We're gonna vote your a out. We're gonna vote your a out, you communist piece of trash. Guys, if it wasn't for me just getting out of a cold, I promise you my voice will blow your minds. But this typical Democrat thinks that by singing in Spanish, what, is that supposed to get me excited or feel involved in the conversation? Because he's pandering to my skin color? Playing identity politics is that the banana that he's dangling in front of his monkey trying to get him to dance? No, Mr. Governor, I'm not your monkey. I don't dance to your tune. I dance whenever I want to dance and wherever I want to dance. Let's make that clear. You, sir, make me sick to my stomach. All of us should be calling all of these incompetent and corrupt people out one by one. And if he was a Republican doing the same thing, I would repeat the exact same message. Instead of him doing that stupid dance, he should be focusing on making his community safer, making the roads, the sidewalks, the highways, the airports, better for the people that elected him. So make sure to take notes of all of these idiots that are just wasting time in office and vote them the hell out. Moving along, we are in luck because there are some great Americans out there that have boots on the ground and are investigating what's happening in Colorado with the gang violence. And they have been interviewing a lot of people that are surrounded or have been affected by this gang infestation in cities like Aurora, Denver, and even Colorado Springs. Of course, I will give them the credit they deserve. And so I will show you the highlights of those interviews. But if you do want to watch the entire video, the links are down below. Unfortunately, we know that some government officials and even the mainstream media at times have denied what's been happening in parts of Colorado. And some neighbors that you will watch in today's video that live in the affected area will tell you that there is no gang violence anywhere. But later we found out that they are scared of speaking out because that would put their lives at risk. So imagine that, being afraid to speak out because of a migrant gang. How pathetic is that? In any event, so is there gang violence in Colorado or is it all fake 
news. Well, let's watch some local reports along with the brave Americans that have boots on the ground to see what is the truth of the migrant gangs in parts of Colorado. Let's get started. Okay, hey guys, so let's start with this report from Denver. Now, this one is from a couple of months ago, but it's still pretty relatable to what happened just a couple of days ago. I do want to mention that these local reports are crucial because it gives that verification that we need in times like these where a lot of liberals just say, all of this is fake news. Well, here's an update from now four weeks ago. And federal officials in El Paso have handed over custody of an alleged Tren de Aragua gang member they say is linked to a violent jewelry store robbery in, De in Denver back in June. As we reported, the brutal robbery was all caught on video showing several young men entering the jewelry store, pulling out guns, pushing open the office door and breaking in. Last week, Homeland Security Investigation Special Agents in Las Cruces turned over 21-year-old Jean Torres to law enforcement in Denver. On June 26th, Seventh in El Paso, police officers took several people at a motel near Montana Avenue into custody, and Border Report learned that detainees are being held on immigration charges, and Torres was among them. To read more on this story, just simply visit borderreport.com. 21 years old. Imagine coming into a country like the United States and committing such crimes almost immediately. What a disgrace. Now let's watch part of this other report from Aurora and this one is boots on the ground. Remember the entire video is linked down below. But here we will see how some of these neighbors give us a mixed response of yes we do have gang violence and no we don't which is interesting and sad. These are illegal Venezuelan immigrants, part of the Train de Aragua gang, breaking into an apartment complex in Aurora, Colorado. They're, they're armed and ready. They'll um, uh, try to wipe your windows and then come rob you. Well, I see that bullet hole in my, my, my bedroom window, huh? That's a bullet hole right there? We've been terrorized. Gunshots, the trash piling up. Every time we try to go to bed at night, we have to keep it like this so nobody can kick in the door. The interim police chief in a video press release says that's not happening. In an attempt to clear confusion and figure out myself what is and what is not fake news, I pulled up there myself to find out. Tren de Aragua. No sé, hermano. Okay. No sé. Okay. Es peligrosa aquí o no? Sí. 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 ¿Por qué? Like, pop, pop, pop. Sí. Muchos okay. plomos, sí, pero no, o sea, no puedo. Criminales. No puedo hablar más de lo que puedo decir porque también es mi seguridad de mi, okay. de mi persona. Are most of the people that live here from Venezuela? Yes. Okay. Yes. Y... Pregunta. Is a tren de agua aquí? No. No? Okay. Fake news? Also news? Okay. Gracias. Ah, uh, is tren de agua aquí o no? No. No? No. Peligrosa aquí lately? No? Es, es cierto que los pandillas se han apoderado de este complejo de apartamentos o no? No, no sé, porque yo vivo trabajando, yo vengo al trabajo y a, okay. a dormí. ¿Cuántos años vive aquí? Meses. Tres, tres meses. Ok, ¿de dónde eres? Venezuela. Ok. I'm sure about like the gang activity and that sort of thing. No, I hear gunshots all the time throughout the night. Gunshots all the time? About the uh, apartment somewhere over here that uh, the two people died in. Okay. Two people were shot apparently. Is it safe out here? Uh, during the day mostly. I, like, I don't like to I don't like to travel around through the neighborhood at night or around okay. dusk. Okay. Es peligroso aquí o no? Sí. Sí. Porque actividades criminales. Sí, mucho de la serie y todo. Okay. Muchos, muchas policías sí. recientemente. Mucho. Porque pap pap pap. Sí. Okay. Mucho balazos. ¿Cuántos meses vive aquí? Dos años. Okay, so we got the broken glass here. Look, look, look. 
Look, this is broken in too long ago. This looks like it's in a pretty bad state of disrepair. We got feastables on the ground though. That's crazy. Mr. Beast feastables on the ground in there, along with heroin needles and fentanyl foil and trash. I was trying to figure out if uh, the gangsters have taken this place over. I'm looking you right see, You probably see that bullet hole in my, my, my bedroom window, huh? That's a bullet hole right there? You got a, you got a wasp nest right next to you too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a bullet hole right there though. Okay, so how, how often do you hear bullets out here? Probably like every two days. Damn, that's that's pretty shitty, yeah? Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not too bad. Most time I'll be at work, so I don't really have to deal with a lot of them. You ever been hit with a stray bullet out here? Nah, not yet. <laughs> no so when did the Venezuelans come in here? That's a new thing, right? Um, I don't know if they're Venezuelan or not, but gangs have been in here. Trained at Agua? Is it the Venezuelan gangs? I'm not sure who they okay. are. But Gang activities out here for sure. Activity, yeah, for about at least a year. And I've heard a lot of people aren't paying rent out here. Is that true? That's what uh, I hear. That's what we hear. Yeah, there's a lot of squatters and holdover tenants. I, all the inside, we just walked into each building. They're yeah. completely trashed. It's not surprising. Yeah. Because the whole place is trashed. Completely trashed. Completely. Like third world abandoned building. Is that what it looks like? Uh, it's pretty shitty. I think Denver's targeted because it's centrally located okay. and not close to the border. Okay. So that's why I think we're targeted. What, what would be a message for like the city council or the governor or the mayor you guys would like to get out, if anything? But shut this place down. Shut it down? Just like they did in Home Street. Okay. Because it's, it's the same owners. So and they do a poor job at, at vetting their tenants and maintenancing the place? Do shit. The owner needs to be locked up. Okay. And that's my opinion. Yeah. Just for renting out these to these uh, illegals. Okay. Wow, shut it down. That guy should be running for mayor. He seems more well-informed than a lot of these politicians. But what do you guys think? Do you believe there's gang violence? To me, the answer is crystal clear. Okay, so let's jump onto this other report from AJ, a TikToker. And we'll start with her interviewing the general manager of a gun store that was recently broken into. All right, guys, I'm here at Spartan Defense and we are with... Stephen Kinder, the general manager. Okay, and you guys were recently just broken into, correct? Yes, we were. Okay, what was the date and time of that? That was August 8th, uh, about 3.20 in the morning. Okay, so recently. Now, ha has that ever happened before? Nope, first, uh, first incident here at this store. Okay, um, and then what is your security like? How were they able to do that? So we have steel roll down shutters on every single opening in the building. Um, we had about six tons of boulder out front to prevent a vehicle from coming through. We have an alarm system and they drove a Hyundai through the wall. Through the barriers mm -hmm. too? They moved the, the boulders uh, they got the car up on the curb, they knocked down the wall. We've since installed concrete bollards um, that are six inches thick. They will stop a truck. Um, the store's pretty much impenetrable now. If someone wants to get in, they're going to need some serious hand tools and uh, cops will be here before they get in. Okay. How quickly did the cops respond? Nine minutes from the time the alarm triggered. And how many guns were they able to get away with during that time? Uh, somewhere between 12 and 15. I heard that they were recovered. Is that true, some of them? Many of them were. Um, three of the four individuals that were responsible for the break-in were apprehended. They're all juveniles, so... Yeah, what I was the no ages info. like? Don't know. Not They're even juveniles. We don't get Under 18, info. all of them? Yep. Okay. Now, do you have any other profile? Like, were they any kind of racist? I mean, we don't know. Everybody was wearing masks and gloves. Oh, um, and gloves. Yep, masks and gloves. The cameras were all in night vision mode because it was 3 in the morning. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, as far as who or who they are, we really don't know anything. Okay. Um, and then what do you think their intent could be with that amount of weapons, the ones that they kept? The, I believe they're looking to sell them. Okay, okay. 100%. I don't Has think these been... kids knew what they were looking for. I don't think they knew what they were looking at. They went and grabbed things that they recognized from video games and music videos, and they're going to try and sell them. Okay. And... Did they try to break into a place right before this? Yes. That was true. Okay. They left the rear bumper of the car that they used to smash this this store at the other store. Okay. Do you think, and you don't think it was gang related or do you? My gut says it's probably, but the detectives that I've talked to have said that there's nothing connecting any of this, that it's just random occurrences of random kids and the only... The only similarity is how, how they, they do it. it. Okay. But between the vape shops, the gun shops, 
they aren't seeing any connection. Okay. If they did, it would be a lot easier to deal with. Because mm -hmm. they can't identify who they are. Exactly. That's where it comes to. But they recovered him, so do you know how they were able to recover anything? Not sure. I know they probably um, won't some of the guns were recovered at pawn shops. Oh, um, that I believe one of the guns, sense. or some of the guns were recovered in a vehicle. Um, but okay. yeah, with them being juveniles, we really don't get a whole lot of information. Are you worried about it happening to other gun owners in the area? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Colorado's getting violent. Um, there's been several stores that have been broken into several times this year alone. Wow. Um, and it's pretty brazen to break into a gun store where exactly. everyone's carrying a gun. And thankfully now they're only doing it after hours when the places are empty. But if it happened during the day while the staff is here, it would be a very different situation. Mm -hmm. And what would be your advice to the average citizen? If you have weapons at home, keep them locked up. A safe um, that's mounted to the wall or floor is the best thing you can do. Don't leave guns in your vehicle. Keep them on your person. If you're going somewhere where you can't bring a gun or you won't bring a gun, don't bring it. Um, if you get your gun stolen, the penalty in Colorado is higher for the person who had their firearm stolen than for the person who stole the firearm. Yeah. That law punishes the victim way more than the criminal. Whoa. Okay, and then do you have any advice for other shop owner, gun store owners? Be vigilant. Secure everything as best you can. If you don't have an AI camera system, call us. We'll come install one. Um, that honestly would have stopped this from happening because one of the stores that they tried to break into has a you know, very advanced AI camera system that's monitored after hours and somebody came on and told those guys to f*** off and they did and then the cops showed up and they sat outside my store for 20 minutes dicking around trying to get a car on a curb because they're 12 and, or I don't know if they're 12 but they're children and they didn't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. And any anything else you would like to add? Just stay prepared, stay vigilant. You know, if things seem off, they probably are. Mm -hmm. Probably need to take a closer look. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Incredible. So he just told us that in Colorado, if you get your gun stolen, the law will punish the victim more than the criminal. Additionally, we have some children committing such crimes. And I remember that report from earlier in Denver, we had that 21 year old arrested. So who can you trust guys? How about this? Nobody, because we know we do not have a proper vetting system at the border. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Kamala. So I just did an interview with a local here in Westminster, Colorado, and I'm at these apartments and I'm going to show you all of the cars that they pointed out that belong to the Venezuelans who live here. And you will be shocked to find out these cars are not old and you'll see the license plate of where it came from. So take a look. Here is one car. Okay. Yeah, it's in, it has a little scratch, but it's got a tag. Here's another one. This one was interesting because take a look at the license plate. We do know where they came in through the border. So this was either stolen or they gave them this car as soon as they entered the border. And look how good of condition it is. This one's not in good condition. Still one of their cars. So to protect the identity of the person that told me this information, I will not be sharing the interview. Um, but they have confirmed that about 13 of them live all in a one bedroom apartment in the building. So they're prevalent here and they do cause a lot of trouble. And they also said that they went over to the dealership across the street and tried to rob him, but he pulled his pew pew out and he said, they, do, they know not to mess with me now. So they have tried and their shit's going on in Westminster. Um, and here's one more car. Colorado. So 
So that's just another update of things that I'm finding out here and what's going on from the locals. And I just want to convey is getting real out here. So stay safe, y'all. Are y'all putting these signs up? Yes. Oh, you're here. I saw you on TikTok. Oh, let me see your sign. <laughs> yeah, so I got this one, but I got some posts all the way around and stuff. And you're not scared to come put these out here? They could be inside. Yeah, well, I ain't, I ain't scared at all, man. So. This your old neighborhood? Yeah, this is both of my old neighborhood. What's your name? What's your name, man? My name is Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh, uh, Bryce. And that's why you're here? Because you saw my TikTok? <laughs> oh, no. Like, oh, okay. Uh, it's just like I saw your TikTok about the Venezuelan situation, and I ended up posting up on your comments and stuff like I like that, we so. just saw your signs and I were like where's not the Venezuelans putting up the signs I was I didn't see we just like barely saw it and I was like interesting yeah and I'm, I appreciate like it is crazy out here yeah. I'm finding too many stories and what's crazy is that APD was just here yesterday and stuff like they that and they were knocking on people's doors and then people were like oh uh what, what's going on over here and then freaking I guess the police were asking oh do you see gang violence around here and then everybody said no they don't but they yeah. but somebody around here just said their car got shot up just two days ago all scared yeah but I'm not okay yeah, so we're gonna find out nice today. to meet you yeah I gotta give a props for providing us with such reports because the day the mainstream media gives us something like this you know the world will be coming to an end. But what a shame that these neighbors have all the information available. And then makes you wonder, why aren't they reporting it? Or maybe they did, but they know that these migrants could get arrested and then could be let go because, you know, they follow the sanctuary city policy, the sanctuary state policy. And it's a shame. All right, y'all, when I make a left, there's a bunch of people, and I can't tell if they're just normal Hispanics or Venezuelans. I, I'm i not trying to be racist or nothing. I honestly don't know the difference. I've never met a Venezuelan, but one of them just tried to stop me. So I'm about to show y'all what's going on, and, and let's see if we can catch what they have to say. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I want to know where y'all from? Hi. Where y'all from? Venezuela. Okay. I need to know what are y'all doing here? What? What are y'all doing here? What, what is the time over here? What? What is the time over here? What are you doing here? Ah, porque que hacemos aquí? Uh, I, I need your work. Work? Yep. Okay. So, are you guys aware of the Venezuelan gangs that are here? Are you guys part of that? Do you know about them? Ah, no te entendí nadita lo que me dijiste. Uh, uh. Estacionate bien, ve, que estás ahí en todo el medio. Ahí es. Oh, ya. Yeah. yeah, no, I'm just curious. What? Yo, get off my truck. Que te sale, que te quites el lado. Okay. I don't know you. I just want to know what y'all are doing. You guys are here for work? Sí, I work. I need your work. And when how'd you get here? How did you get here? What? How did you get here? No, no te entiendo, no te entiendo. How did you get here? Como le gest le le gesta aquí? La cosa, I don't know. Como llegaste aquí? Ah, okay. How did you get here? The car. Car? Yeah. You drove? Bus. Bus. A bus. Yeah. Okay, from Mexico? No, Venezuela. Venezuela, yeah. straight from Venezuela all the way here. Yeah. Casi todo Venezuela. Yeah. And where did they and they just dropped you off in the city? No, entendí nada otra vez. Algo de ciudad, pero no sé. And they just dropped you off in the city with nowhere to go or do you have housing? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es? Vitamina E me acaban de dejar en la ciudad sin ningún lugar a donde ir o tienes vivienda. Yeah, yes, I I house. I house. Around here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just curious. Ah, okay. Okay, I just want to know. Sí, sí, ponle, ponle. I was just curious. I just want to know. A lot of us have been hearing a lot of stuff, so I'm just wondering. So, 
Solo así. tenía curiosidad. Solo quiero saber que muchos de nosotros hemos estado escuchando muchas cosas. Yeah, así yeah. que solo me pregunto. Okay, okay. Okay, gracias. Okay, I'm fine. Certainly, all of us are curious because the governor downplayed it and the liberal influencers on social media are saying that this is fake news. Also, some of these migrants have better cars than you guys do. Go figure. Nice about it. She's like, no problem. <laughs> Say they're aggressive, but I don't know. So I said, it. when someone says no, no means no. The end is, I don't get it. But I told them no and they still did it and they said no problem. But like, I still said no and they were like, no problem, no problem and still did it anyway. Like, what can you do? They're not aggressive, they just don't take no for an answer. It's already washed, don't. No, I'm good. It is complaining about it. They don't like to be recorded. They don't take no for an answer. That sounds just about right. And at the end, you saw that they seemed agitated and upset that she was recording them. They do not like these types of videos, but we will continue to do them because we have to keep informed. Guys, thank you so much for watching, for your support. And remember the shout outs are down below. Follow me everywhere. Please share this video, smash the like button, and subscribe if you haven't already. Of course, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. We're gonna bow your ass out. We're gonna bow your ass out. We're gonna bow your ass out, you communists. Piece of trash.